Hi everyone. It's great pleasure to address you at the 12th International Conference on Mathematical Modeling in Physical Sciences. I am Dr. Mahendra Samaravikrama, Director of the Center for Consciousness Studies in Australia and an honorary visiting scholar at the University of Technology Sydney. Today I am going to present my research paper titled Conscious Model of Particle Physics: The Grand Theory Unifying Local and Non-Local Realities. Quantum entanglement is a phenomenon where two particles correlate in such a way that knowing the state of one instantly determines the state of the other regardless of distance. This challenges the traditional view of relativity which state that reality is local and the information travels no faster than the speed of light. Entanglement however implies a non-local reality due to its instantaneous effects at distance. In 1935, Einstein, Sprodelsky and Rosen stated quantum mechanics is incomplete and proposed hidden variables to explain this correlation. However, in 1964, John Bell introduces Bell's inequalities, allowing experimentation of the TPR paradox. These experiments consistently supported quantum mechanics, showing the non-local nature of entanglement. In 2022, The Nobel Prize in Physics was awarded to Alan Aspect, John Kluser, and Anton Seelinger for their experiments rejecting local hidden variable theories including the EPR paradox. While Bell's theorem disproved local hidden variable theories, it didn't rule out non-local hidden variable theories which allow to spooky action at a distance. In this research, we introduce new elementary particle in consciousness into the standard model of particle physics. underpinning non-local hidden variables we name the extended model the conscious model of particle physics using the conscious model of particle physics we unified local and non-local realities first we established the notion that quantum entanglement keep hidden variables in consciousness and those hidden variables can influence each other instantly through consciousness dimension in a non-local fashion The state of the entangled particle is at a superposition state in material aspects since hidden variables are confined to consciousness. Next, we map consciousness into uncertainty to understand the causation of quantum mechanics. When dwelling into smaller dimension either in space or time, relativity is no longer valid due to the uncertainty in observation. The uncertainty of an observation is related to the consciousness of an observer. and the complexity of the phenomena heisenberg's uncertainty principle describes that it is impossible to aware of multiple physical quantities or complex scenarios with perfect accuracy at the quantum scale in reality more awareness means less uncertainty and less awareness means more uncertainty then to understand quantum entanglement we posit that quantum mechanics preserves awareness and maintains integrity with underlying consciousness The inherent uncertainty in an observation doesn't constitute an inherent aspects of reality. While observation inevitably carries uncertainty, reality is governed by preserving awareness and maintain integrity with underlying consciousness. To understand reality, we assume that consciousness and change are the fundamentals of reality which cause the principles of least action and the symmetries and asymmetries of the nature. Therefore consciousness is attributed to the governance of reality and its influence can be illustrated as an elementary particle of the standard model of particle physics we name that particle as a primion and establish the conscious model of particle physics the primion particle introduces consciousness as a fundamental aspects of reality shedding light on how it's interact with other elementary particles and the forces that govern reality When two particles become entangled through a quantum interaction, the material attributes of these particles exist in a superposition of states which is described by the entangled wave function. As per the new model, the discrepancies are confined to a non-materialistic consciousness dimension as hidden variables which can be understood through the behavior of the primion. The properties of the primion in entangled state are such that primions undergo fundamental changes characterized by causal deterministic and unpredictable shifts primion form the basis for the principles of least action as well as the conservation of energy and momentum interaction of the entangled primions with awareness 
through either measurements or observation leads to the collapse of the wave function, thereby causing material discrepancies and separable quantum mechanics. Those characteristics of prime ions in entangled particles maintain the integrity and establishes a non-local awareness between particles. Finally, based on the conscious model of particle physics, we unified the local and non-local realities. The challenge of unifying the local and non-local realities is mainly due to the exhibited random nature of quantum mechanics. However, the randomness in quantum mechanics is due to missing consciousness. By introducing the prime ion particle, the complex dynamics in reality including quantum mechanics become causal, deterministic and unpredictable but not random. In this way, the conscious model of particle physics makes local and non-local realities causal, deterministic and unpredictable, unifying our understanding. However, this chaotic nature is misinterpreted as randomness in quantum mechanics, as the conscious dimension is disregarded in the fundamental physical frameworks. If the consciousness is considered, the non-local reality and the separable quantum mechanics appear chaotic, not random. Based on this research, we draw the following conclusions. Firstly, consciousness is an independent fundamental dimension which establishes non-local reality and preserves integrity in awareness. This new dimension facilitates quantum entanglement to establish universal awareness beyond the experience of five senses or materialism. The influence of observation or measurements transform reality from non-local to local, violating the integrity of the consciousness dimension. Secondly, the wisdom of non-local awareness is beyond the imagination, the experience of five senses, computation or analysis. The wisdom exists at non-local consciousness dimension rather than our experiences, perceptions or knowledge in local space-time dimensions. What we are consciously aware of is a different reality from what we are knowledgeable about through observations, measurements, computations or analysis. Finally, unlike our five senses, touch, sight, hearing, smell and taste evolve to perceive local reality in space-time, the mind emerges to be aware of both local and non-local realities through consciousness. In this way, the mind can also be considered as a sensor for awareness operating beyond observation. Thank you everyone for participating in this presentation.